Hello piggy people! So today's video I'm going to share with you 10 things that pet stores don't tell you about guinea pigs. So there probably are a couple guinea pig enthusiasts who work at pet stores who are fighting the good fight, but for the majority of them, let's be honest, you get given incorrect information or basically no information at all. If you want to know more about guinea pigs up in the iCards, I'm going to leave a bunch of videos that will be helpful for you. Let's get into the video. Number one. They don't tell you that guinea pigs should always be in pairs or more, and some pet stores even go as far as saying that males can't be in pairs or more, which is both very false. They're all social creatures and all absolutely thrive with the same-sex pairs. Number two, they don't let you know that basically all the cages on their shelves that they're trying to sell you suck. They're way too small, so look into Midwest Habitats or get creative and build your own. Do not waste your money on a pet store cage unless you're going to use it for a travel cage or a recovery cage. Number three, they don't let you know that you need to buy hay quite often, which is super important. And if you don't see it in the displays, people often don't realize it's needed. They also don't let you know that you need to pick the healthy pellets, which are few and far between on their shelves. Number four, they don't tell you that 95% of the treats that they're selling geared towards guinea pigs are actually completely unsuitable. Who sees those yogurt drops with guinea pigs' faces on them? Guinea pigs do not eat dairy. Number five, they don't tell you that guinea pigs take a lot of time, patience, and effort to tame them. Number six, they don't tell you that guinea pigs don't make the greatest pets for small children as they are very fragile and skittish. Number seven, they don't tell you that guinea pigs are going to require costly vet care at one point or another in their life. Number eight, they don't tell you that you should never be placing your guinea pigs in hamster balls. Number nine, they don't tell you that even though wheels have pictures of guinea pigs on them, they're absolutely not safe for guinea pigs and should never be used. Number 10, they don't tell you that the baby guinea pigs they're selling come from bad breeding situations and that if you purchase them, you're just making it okay. Do you guys have any more to add? Feel free to comment down below things you have been told that are crazy, things you haven't been told from the pet store. Leave them down below and let's share. I always advocate that guinea pigs should be adopted. There's so many out there. You can look in rescue, shelters, online ads. Or if you are looking for a specific breed, there are some ethical breeders out there. But really purchasing from the pet store, unfortunately, you're just making it okay for the guinea pigs behind the scenes to be treated poorly, to be bred and bred over and over with total disregard for any genetic issues they could be passing on, etc. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!